Hey there, Michael here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create queries in Microsoft Access. So a query is basically you want to search for um, specific information inside your massive database. So let's go to create and let's go to query design, not wizard, we would go to design. So we'll put that in. We want to add the table, the only table that we have and we're going to close that. In our query you would like to include the song name, the artist, the genre and the year of release. You don't have to include all these but we will for the sake of this example. Okay so let's start with let's look for all we're just going to list all the songs that are from the pop genre. So under genre here we go to criteria and type in the word pop. So what happens is when we run this query, which is up here, it's only going to list the pop songs or anything with the word pop in it from genre. And that's that. We can save that query and let's do that. So let's go to our query here. We're going to save it. Let's call it QRY, which is short for query. That will be our prefix and we'll call it pop list. Okay. I do. Oh, I've already got one called pop list. I forgot I made that. Let's make it call that pop list too. Okay, so we've just got two the same. Okay, let's make another one. So we'll go to create uh, query design, add in our table. Now this, this time we're just going to put in song name and the artist um, just for this example. So this time we want to include um, the any artist that has got the name Moo in the name. Now I've created a few for this um, example so let's type in Moo and see what happens when we run the query. Nothing comes up. Let's go back. So we'll delete that. This time we'll put in an asterisk at the front. M O O. Asterisk Moo. Let's see what happens. So we've got Mary Moo, but there's others. So where are the others? Well, the reason for that is because asterisk at the start, notice how it's changed the, the uh, criteria a little bit. Uh, you can ignore those extra bits, but asterisk Moo basically means that Moo is going to be at the end of the name. So what if I put in um, ast uh, moo asterisk as well. Now we've got Mary Moo and now we've got Moo Man as well. Silly aren't they? Um, this is because we've got two criteria here, options, and we've got like, uh, we've got asterisk at the start which includes Mary Moo and the other one is Moo at the start of the name. Let's run that. So that's just Moo Man when it's just that one. The other option is if you want the word Moo to be anywhere in the name you can go asterisk Moo asterisk and let's see what happens this time. So we've got Mary Moo, Mary Moo, Moo Man and Monica Moore. Well, why have we got Monica Moore? Well, because she's got the letters Moo in her name. So this includes the words, the letters M-O-O -O anywhere in the name of the artist. So that's an interesting uh, way of doing queries, which can come in handy. Let's save that query and call that Q-R-Y Moo. One more query. Let's go create query design. And this time we're going to look at whoops, we're going to look at the year of release. Let's put all those in now. This time we're going to look at under criteria, we're going to look at movies that came after 2000. So we will go greater than 2000. Now because we set this particular field to be a number field, we can do these kind of calculations. If we had this as a short text field, uh, that wouldn't work. So let's run this. 
And as you can see, these are songs after 2000, not including 2000, mind you. Um, I don't know if there is one in there that is. Anyway, let's, this time let's go to less than 2000, see what happens. And now we've got songs below that. One more way of doing it is if we just go 2000, see if there's any that were... No, we don't have any from 2000 anyway. If we had one that was 2000, we could go greater than or equal to 2000. That would work as well. Uh, you could also do between um, 1900 and 2000. See what happens when we run that query. It includes only those songs there. So that's a another way of doing working with numbers. So I hope that is a few good examples of how to do queries in uh, a database. There's obviously lots of other ways of doing things, but that's a good start. So thanks for watching.